السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله وأصحابه ومن ولا وسلم تسليما قطيرا أما بعد as we come to a benefit inshallah ta'ala we mention the third matter with regards to enduring people's harms and we touched on that ta'ala. so now we mention we will mention the fourth matter ta'ala. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahallahu ta'ala he mentioned the fourth matter is that one recognize he recognizes when he pardons and treats others good he shall be rewarded with a peaceful heart towards his brothers and his heart will be untainted or his heart will be unstained by swindling spite seeking revenge or desire evil He will obtain the sweetness of parting. This person, the fourth matter, ya ayyuhannas. This person, he will obtain the sweetness of pardoning that exceeds his delight and benefit worldly and in the hereafter. It will benefit this person in his, her, in his worldly life and as well as the hereafter, more than the benefit achieved by revenge many times over. This falls under the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal. As a result, as a result he will become beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The person who forgives, the person who pardons, the person who overlooks. And he will be similar to the person whose dirham was taken, but he, but he, but to be replaced with thousands of dirham. His dirham was taken. This individual, his honor was, yani his honor was, was being, his honor was taken. Someone talked about this person, backbitten this person. But what did this person, this Muslim, he does? That this person he overlooks. This is a delight of the heart. This is something that is beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So at that moment, he shall rejoice. Undescribably due to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed on this person. On a part of this person, on the part of this Muslim, overlooking and re- and pardoning individuals for tarnishing his honor, for speaking bad about him, for taking his right, for eating his flesh, and this is something that is hard to do. But the person that has this kind of patience, he is seeking nearness to Allah. The reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yani, meaning, as Shaykh Abdul Razak, Hafidhahallah ta'ala, he explains that if one who, that if one were to pardon and treat others with excellence, then he will inherit from that a peaceful heart towards his brothers. And his heart will be unstained. His heart will be unstained. By swindling. Seeking revenge and desiring evil. So. The Shaykh Hafidahullah. 
he mentioned some people seek revenge in order to satisfy their thirst for revenge. Some people seek revenge in order to satisfy their thirst or their lust for revenge. And to be pleased and assuming that by revenge, they will feel at ease. They think by them seeking to have revenge upon a person, that this gives them some type of ease. And you find from amongst individuals that, yani, by them harming the person, this brings about some status upon that person. As you find from amongst individuals in the hood that they seek retaliation, that these individuals seek retaliation, and by them doing so, that this gives the, this give them some type of status, some type of refutation, some type of yani rep reputation, some type of status. They are feeling themselves when they harm a person, or kill a person, or beat a person. This gives them. Some type of status, or they feel like they're on top of the world. Wa iyaadu billah. So the Sheikh Hafidah Allahu Taala, he mentions some people seek revenge in order to satisfy their thirst for revenge, and to be pleased and assuming that by revenge they will feel at ease. Walakin ya ayuhannas. The matter is the exact opposite. As the author Rahimahallahu Ta'ala, Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimahallahu Ta'ala, he mentions, he explained ease is achieved in pardoning. That, Yani, ease is achieved by overlooking and pardoning the, and pardon an individual. So the person e the person's ease and delight in this era or this area or in pardoning. Pardoning increases the servant in honor. Pardon increases the servant in dignity. And but you know, the street code, they you know, when you don't seek revenge and you just let it go. They look down upon you. They say, oh, you's a, you's a, you's a sucker. Or oh, you going to let this person do this to you? You going to let that person get over on you? Wa'iyadu billah. Some might think that letting someone go, letting some, some people, as I mentioned, some may think that letting someone go unpunished is a form of humiliation. Or as a form of weakness. Yet it only increases him in honor, ease, and joy. And a friendly atmosphere. He should realize this fact because when he pardons, he becomes pleased. And his chest is, and his chest is unimpaired by spite or hatred and envy. But rather he pardons, seeks what is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's seeking the reward of Allah azza wa jal, and his heart will be at ease. This matter has a tremendous status if the servant is granted success to experience this. To experience this ease, this tranquility. And by Allah's permission, he will be aided by having patience with people's harm. Allahu Akbar. Hada yani ad deen and yusra. That the deen is easier, ayyuhan nas. Subhanallah. How beautiful that this religion is and it teaches us to endure the people's harm. 
practicing the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It teaches us to endure what the people say about us. To endure hardships, trials, and tribulations. And to be patient upon this matter. And so we mentioned the fifth point, Bithni Lahi Kareem. And Shaykh al Islam ibn, ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah. He mentions. Is that it should be known that no one has ever sought revenge for himself before, except that he would feel humiliation within himself. If he were to pardon, Allah would honor him. This matters from the things that the truthful and the trusted one, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, informed us of where he said. The more forgiving the person is, the more honor Allah shall bestow upon him. So the honor that he achieves by pardon is more beloved and beneficial to him than the honor that he would achieve by taking revenge. Really, this honor, ya ayyuhannas, achieved by taking revenge is, yani is outward, while it inherits humiliation inwardly. Yet pardoning brings humi humility inwardly while inheriting honor inwardly and outwardly. Yet, I'm going to mention it, mention it again. Say it again. I'm going to say this again. Yet pardoning, it brings humility. It brings humility. It brings humility inwardly while inheriting honor inwardly and outwardly allahu akbar so the statement this statement of the author rahimahullah ta'ala shaykh al islam ibn taymiyyah rahimahullah mentioned as an explanation to this hadith, the more forgiving the person is, the more honor Allah shall bestow upon him. So whoever contemplates on the reality of people's actions in this regard, he will discover that many people think that honor only comes by taking retaliation and revenge. While withholding to do so is a kind is is a kind of yani is a kind of humiliation. Individuals they think that if you don't take revenge, if you don't get back at this person, if you don't fight back, that you are weak, you are a weak person, you are a soft person. While withholding to do so is a kind of humiliation. This is what some people think. How can he do such and such and not seek revenge? That is humiliation. This is what the this is the mindset of the people. So the honor that he achieves by pardoning. Is more beloved and beneficial to him than the honor that he would achieve by taking revenge. Really, this honor is outward, meaning taking revenge only achieves outward honor. Taking revenge only achieves the outward honor, ya ayyuhannas. That if you was to take revenge on a person, this only shows that you know how to fight, or this only shows that you are not a coward. This only shows that you want to stand up. So the honor that he achieves by parting, by pardoning is more beloved and beneficial to him than the honor than the honor that he would achieve by taking revenge. Really, this honor is outward, meaning taking revenge only achieves outward honor. 
while he inherits humiliation inwardly. Yet pardoning brings humiliation. Pardoning it brings humiliation inwardly. It is assumed that one who pardons is humiliated. This is this is the assumption. Well, in reality, he inherits honor inwardly and outwardly. Naam ya ayyuhannas. And then we will try to mention the sixth man of Ithanillahi Ta'ala. And hopefully we will stop on this point. As Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Rahimahallahu Ta'ala. He mentions the sixth matter, which is among the greatest benefits, is that one recognizes what he reaps, what he sows, and that he is a wrongdoer who sins, and that whoever pardons people, Allah will pardon him, and whoever forgives them, the people, Allah will forgive him. So, let's, you know, Let's think for a minute. This individual, this Muslim, did something to another Muslim or did something to, you know, a non-Muslim. So now the tables have turned. Now you are being sought after. Now your honors and your reputation is being tarnished. Is that you reap what you sow. What goes around comes around like they say. Is that one recognizes what reaps what he sows. Is that one recognizes what he reaps what he sows. And that he is a wrongdoer who sins. And that whoever pardons people, Allah will pardon him. And whoever forgives them, Allah will forgive him. So when one knows that forgiving and overlooking people's harms, overlooking people's harms against him is a means for Allah rewarding him on account of the kind of deed he does. So one pardons, forgives, treats others excellent despite his sins. And it becomes easy for him to pardon others and have patience. This benefit, it suffices the intelligent person. It, it yeah, and he benefits those who have intellect. Meaning among the matters that aid the servant in enduring people's harm is that knowing that he reaps what he sows. You, you reap what you sow. So when someone do something to you, you can't get mad. You can't get upset and, and mad. Just be patient. You have to deal with that. It is that knowing that he reaps what he sows. So if you pardon the people, Allah will pardon you for your sins and for your, neg for your ne neglectfulness. For your neglectfulness of Allah's rights over you. And he will pardon you due to your forgiving Due to your forgiving attitude. He will pardon you. Due to. You forgiving others. Due to you having this attitude of forgiving, of forgiving people. So when you pardon his servants. For their harms towards you. Seeking what is with Allah. Of reward. Ya ayyuhan nas. He will reward you based on the type of deed you have done. And he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will pardon you. So, this is an important affair. When you do something to somebody, it's okay for you to do it. Now, when someone does it back to you, you want to feel some kind of way. Now, it is upon you to be patient, to endure this treatment upon you and seek the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what we want to benefit with 
in this short time that we have, inshallah ta'ala. And I hope that this will allow some of the individuals to realize that which they are upon. You reap what you sow. What you do to somebody, somebody does it back to you. Naam. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his pardon. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase us in obedience to him. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us firm upon his sirat al-mustaqeem. Wa akir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.